Hi guys, welcome back to Colleen's Crochet and Crafts. Uh, it's what you working on Wednesday. And I also wanna show you some things that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Same stuff everybody else is showing. <laughs> I got the little yarn pins, a wooden hook. I love the inline. So Susan Bates or the Knitter's Pride is another one, the bamboo I can use. And I got little straight pins. And these are like, um, I put the prices on the back, but 87 cents for the hook. Heck yeah, I'm getting that. And then the big yarn. Oh shoot, measuring tape, my brain is gone today. All right. What you working on Wednesday? I started a mile a minute blanket and I am making it 70 shells long. And I am using Red Heart Color Block, I think it's Fiesta, Party Time or Fiesta for the center and then just a mainstay black to bring those colors out. Um, I'm going to make the strips like this and then I'm going to do a join as you go for the, for the one more row or round, right? Because I'm joining them and then I'll start the border and whatnot. But I love the way these are turning out. I have never made a mile a minute before in 40 years of crocheting, if you can believe that. But uh, I, I just adore the way these look. So anyway, I'm working on that. I'm still working on my little, uh, I've got to put a hat on it and clothes and stuff. Knitting loom, machine baby. That's it guys. I finished Carissa's blanket. I got it washed. All the ends are in and all that. And the V-stitch, as far as the pattern for this, I still haven't got the um, V-stitch summer grow with me dress tested. I can't find testers. So I'm making each size myself and double checking, but it's the same eyes, you know what I mean? So if anybody wants to test a dress, I have that, it's a V-stitch summer grow with me. So it's a really easy adjustable, here, let me see. One, that, oh, I'm not sure where I put them. I think I put them over here. Oh, I, shoot, you know the dresses I made. <laughs> anyway, it's a tunic also. So I need testers for that. It's written, I just need to double check with testers and then I guess I'll just go ahead and write this up, do the uh, video for it, and then hopefully get it tested as I'm still doing sizes. But again, it's the same eyes, so I really prefer to have other people, at least two in each size, you know, look at it. So me and one other person, at least, you know, per size, so. We'll see how that goes. I'm still gonna get those patterns that were tested before. Moved over to free, I'm having a hard time with Raverly. Uh, it's just taking time. There's lots of people out, lots of people, you know, working from home and not doing all that. So I guess we'll just see. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to just show you what I got going and do a quick video. This uh, is a baby blanket tutorial by Crochet Rocks. I will put her link down and I just extended it is what I did and made it longer. Um, and I'm doing an extra round before I do the crochet as you go. So it's a little different, but I'll link her below because that's where I got it from. And I will be having a hundred sub giveaway when I get there so 
You guys let me know what you're working on. This is gonna be a Stitch Your Library, which it's free. So it's my number one Stitch Your Library as well. That's it. Happy hooking. Bye.